Hi, I'm CJ Altmerg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. We got a brand new 2023 Cimarron Lone Star Stock Combo sitting behind me. Now this one's a 24 footer. We've got some 20s as well. Those are the most popular sizes, but with these Cimarrons, we can build you about any size you want. We can work within three inch increments, so we can get that specific on sizes. So just because this trailer is set up the way it is, doesn't mean we can't build you one exactly how you want it. If you want a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, but we've got some options for you. So before we get into this trailer, let's take a look at the drawing so we can kind of show you how this trailer's laid out and kind of give you some dimensions on it. So like I mentioned, a 24 foot on the floor, this one we're looking at here. This is standard width, 610 wide, standard height, 71 tall. This one's gonna have a front dressing room on it. We have a 3-6 short wall on this trailer, so we have a four foot offset. So then we're dealing with a 7-6 long wall on this trailer itself. But as we're working through this, we'll show you some different um, features, some different options we went ahead and put on this actual trailer itself. Uh, one of the first things, not sure if you noticed it on the actual drawing, but the length of this gooseneck, the length on this one is 8-2. That is Cimarron standard length. So compared to a lot of the competition out there, they run about a 7-6, 7-8 long nose. Um, but in these instances, on these using trailers, they're 8-2. So we have a longer nose. The other thing is, is with these newer pickups, we really worry about bed clearance, but also making sure this trailer's running level. So what we've gone in and done is we've changed the gooseneck drop wall height from a standard 50 to a 53. That way we can make sure that this trailer is running level. So equal weight distribution on those two axles, but then we have plenty of bed clearance. So that's one thing we've gone in and done is put a lot of emphasis on that because all the new truck bodies, uh, the different styles. So the GMs have gone up about two and a half inches bed height. Uh, Fords and Dodges have always been a little bit taller but we wanna make sure we have that bed clearance for you. One other thing is, if you look underneath the gooseneck here, you're gonna notice we have just a manual hand crank single leg jack on this one. But if you notice the spare tire on this one is up high. We've actually gone and made that a standard feature on these 610 wide trailers. Move that spare tire up higher because if you ever wanted to upgrade to a electric over hydraulic system on this, now, they have a bigger footprint, so this is normally located down low. We have to relocate this anyway. So we got that up out of the way. I actually like the way it flows with this 8-2 long nose. If you're running a long box and you drop the tailgate, you can still walk behind the truck in between the trailer itself. And that spare is usually down low, so it's one other obstacle you have to work with down low. But now it's up out of the way. So that is standard on our 610 wide trailers. 7, 6, 8 foot wide, it's not as big of a deal but you're gonna start noticing, we're gonna go ahead and put it up high. I mean, it just, it makes sense. Let's get it up out of the way. It's not down low. It's not catching as much road debris from the actual truck itself as well. Now these combos, the versatility on them is awesome. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to the stall area, but you've got your front tack room. So now we've got the ability to throw tack in here, shut your door, lock it up, you know, secure all those items. First thing we're gonna look at here is this door. So 42 inch wide door, couple things on it. We've got a four tier blanket pull rack that swings out. It's on a gas shock. And then we've got a brush tray down low. Throw some brushes, throw some hoof picks, combs, any fly spray bottles, anything like that you can throw in there. But the 42 inch wide door also serves another purpose from just, not just a big opening, but it has this swing out saddle rack. So on this one here, on your, your 24 footers, you're gonna get four tiers. These are adjustable so we can move them up and down. But the importance for this door opening is to allow us to have some space between the door frame and the actual saddles itself. We don't wanna be dragging our, our saddles actually against this door frame. But then even when that's swung out, we can still work in and out of the tack room. A lot of competitors will have a swing out, but a narrow door. So you're gonna be dragging stuff against the door frame, and then when it's out, you can't get in the trailer. You actually have to swing it back in to move in and out of this trailer. The other thing is this step. We really like putting uh, fold-up steps on them. It just makes it life easier getting in and out of these tack rooms. A lot of times you're carrying stuff. It's an easy transition going in and out. Up in the ghost, uh, gooseneck area here, you're gonna notice two windows. So you can create a cross breeze throughout here. 
You can see out. I'm, I'd get claustrophobic if it didn't have these windows to be able to see out. But you've got the ability to throw bed rolls, a mattress up here, have a lot of space. It is deep, again, with that 8.2. And then you're going to notice that tray. That is for our plexiglass up to the right. We're going to talk a little bit more about the, that plexiglass when we get to the outside of the trailer. But that's a great place to store that. That is actually what that's built for. So we're not just throwing that plexiglass up here on the deck in this front tack room, you know, where it has the potential of getting damaged. Behind me is a shelf with a closed bar so we can put some items up top. Uh, again, anytime you can use, utilize some space for extra storage, it definitely has benefits to that. This actually has a rubber mat on the f up on it, on the deck as well, and then it has a lip, but then you can hang your clothes, keeping them nice and neat. Uh, and again, just kind of organized is the big thing with these type of items we're looking at here. And then you're going to have a boot box, 12-inch boot box. Goes partial way across this tack room, and the reason why is because with it being a 3-6 nose, we just wanted the ability to make this, when you walk in, you know, kind of inviting, have a little bit more space there. Then on your partition wall, you've got your hooks, carpet behind that, so we don't have that tack literally, you know, swinging back and forth against that aluminum sheet, you know, possibly doing damage to anything like that, scuffing up the wall. And it also creates a lot of noise, too, so that carpet will deaden that behind there. And the last piece is a corner water tank behind that saddle rack. So that's usually wasted space. We ended up putting and adding on a lot of corner water tanks to these trailers through parts and service. And we said, you know, it just makes sense. Let's go ahead and order them. Uh, that way it's a 25 gallon gravity feed, fill at the top, empty at the bottom. You've got a hose. My opinion, you put a hose with a ball valve so you can fill buckets outside the trailer. Uh, but that's really handy when you're traveling. If you have a horse that only likes water from home, or if you get somewhere where the hydrants, you can't find it or it's a long ways away, you've got water available with you. So again, this tack setup, this is the RTG package is what it's called, ready to go. Uh, we do this on quite a bit of these three and four horse goosenecks, and then these 20 and 24 foot combos. There's that fold up step, very easy to operate. This one here is white sheeted, so it's the white skin that is standard. You can upgrade into some different colors, silver metallic, black, uh, champagne, charcoal metallic, which we have the exact same trailer sitting here with charcoal metallic. So if you wanted to go that route, we've got that one available as well. There is an upcharge when you go to those colors, uh, but white is standard, but you do have some options there. Now, we talked about that tray up there. You'll notice two air gaps with plexiglass. So what they do is every one of these Cimarron stock trailers actually has this track in it. So just because you see a Cimarron that doesn't have plexiglass doesn't mean that track's not there. It's already built that way. But when it comes time to taking these out, I usually use my pocket knife, use a flathead screwdriver, just something flat so it actually can get behind it. And then you slide it out. Now, when I get all these pieces out of this bottom, this is where it becomes very important. This is a tip. Carry a roll of masking tape, painter's tape. It's not as sticky as residue and a Sharpie. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out all these passenger lower, tape them together and right passenger lower and I'm gonna put them up in that tray. I'm gonna do the same when I go to the top, same when I get to the other side of this trailer. Because you have to remember, this is a slant load. So we have longer pieces on that side or more plexiglass on that side of the trailer than this side. So when it comes time to putting all this plexiglass in, believe me, it will save a lot of time, headache, bad words being said by just doing that step. Because now when I go to put them in, I literally grab passenger lower, undo the tape, slide these pieces in, I'm done. You take out all this plexiglass and just throw it in there now you're you have a giant puzzle so it's going to take you more time a lot more energy it's a simple step but that has been very very helpful helpful for a lot of our customers now axles we have two 7,000 pound rubber torsion dexter axles 16 inch wheels aluminum standard on this one here we opted for the black with silver setup uh, these are balanced nitrogen filled tires so we're not going to have the psi levels fluctuate as drastically as air you know, usually a pound or two is what they say with nitrogen filled tires. Best example is airplanes. 
Think about altitude changes, temperature changes. They run nitrogen filled tires on, on planes for that reason. You have a 16 inch awning light about middle of this trailer. You're gonna have another one on the other side and then you're gonna have an eight inch at the rear that we'll show you here. But that way you have light coverage. You see the tie rings on the outside. You can add more tie rings to these trailers. Any upright post, we can go ahead and put those on there. Now, as we get to the back here, you're gonna notice a single gate. Typically on the slant load trailers, it's more popular to have a single gate without a slider on it. Uh, it's when we get into the straight walls that we can do a slider. Now, we can build you again whatever you want. If you want to slant wall the slider, simple enough, we can do that. But this has been a very popular option. This is how people want them equipped, so that's how we order them that way. You'll notice the kick mat on this back door as well. So we put matting on the door, rear gate itself, on the hip wall, and then up on the partition wall that we'll show you as well. But as we get into the stall area, we have two gates. You'll notice that they do not, they don't overlap. You'll have the ability to shut the back gate if, if you'd like, so you can have one big stall area, or we can shut our first one, shut our second one, whatever you'd like. This first stall here is actually 39 inches. That is our standard stall size on our slant load horse trailer. So just keep that in mind. So this first one here, we put this first gate directly behind it. So again, it's the same size. You can use it as a stud stall if you want, additional storage, maybe you want to throw some hay, some bedding, anything like that. Because with it being a solid gate, it works as a stud divider itself. We don't have to worry about items moving, getting underneath animals in transit, uh, maybe keeping somebody away from somebody else if you have a problem child you're traveling with. Uh, but these are slam latches as well, so very easy to operate. Uh, heavy UHMW uh, plastic paddle latch, so we don't have metal to metal contact, creating a lot of rattle. Everything's recessed, everything has a radius, no 90 degrees, nothing protruding out. You know, animal safety is first and foremost on trailers. We always have to keep that in mind. Cimarron does a great job on putting a lot of emphasis there. Then we've got our second gate that will go ahead, same function, same setup on it as that first one. Slam latch, solid gate. So now we've got three compartments in this trailer itself, or as you can see, they do swing out of the way and lock into place against the wall. There's actually a pin that goes into the ceiling and locks it, so they are secure. Um, but a really good setup. You're gonna have some more LED lights in here as well. Up on the roof, every single Cimarron comes standard with this insulated roof. So it is a half inch thick reinforced R3 thermal value uh, compared to an aluminum sheeted roof. Extremely durable, extremely stout. We can walk on these roofs. It'll take 150 pounds per square foot. Uh, when we get into hail season, you know, we'll notice a lot of times we'll start off with a, a certain trailer with an aluminum roof and start working our way if we did have a hail storm here. Um, typically, if we see it on those trailers, we get to the Cimarron's, there's nothing there. Um, if we start off in aluminum and there's nothing on that one, we know that the Cimarron's are good. That stuff is really stout, really durable. One of the other important things also is, is what it does for the uh, temperature control in here. So compared to those aluminum roofs, it's gonna keep the stall area about 20% cooler. So keeping animals more comfortable, more cool. That's where that R3 thermal value comes into play. And believe me, it is noticeable when you come to the lot on really hot days where these trailers have been sitting and it's 9,500 degree days. You will feel a temperature difference when you move from one of those trailers into a Cimarron. You're also gonna have a tie rail over here on driver's side between the two air gaps. So when you have plexiglass in, you can actually tie a lead rope around this. So you can actually utilize this tie rail itself that goes the whole length of the stall area between those two gaps. Now, this one here has rubber mats on the floor, but underneath it, Every trailer starts from floor up, truly, as far as construction goes. So when we're looking at a Cimarron, we're looking at the best floor on the market. And what we have is we have a half inch, or a, excuse me, a 12 inch deck board. This is extruded piece of aluminum. As you can see, we have tongue and groove, high and low. 
So these pieces actually start fitting together. A lot of the competitors will have one locking point. Well, one locking point has the ability to move a little bit more to where when you have two, it's a lot more solid and, and that's what we want. So this, as you can imagine it, sets and runs across the entire length. So these lock into place, it's like Legos. As you start putting them together, they gain more and more strength. But what we have is we have four inch centers. So this is right here is considered a center as well. These are our I-beams. This is a V truss in here. So our points of contact are every four inches. So wherever you have a horse or cattle, anything like that, standing on this floor, no matter where it's at, they're standing on a support beam. This is why Cimarron has the strongest floor on the market. And believe me, this will hold up over time if you just take care of it. And by that, by that I mean pull mats out, power wash it, let it dry. Uh, it's good to put baking uh, powder down. Uh, that way it counteracts the acidity of the urine. Um, but this floor right here, I wanted to show you this because that is what we talk about in these videos all the time. But you can imagine that. Um, you know, crawl underneath a lot of other aluminum manufacturers. They will have sometimes 12 inch centers, six inch, nine inch. But as you spread those out, it's got the ability for the animals to stand where there's not support. And that's where we get those pits or waves over time. There's that eight inch awning light I was telling you about at the back. Everything for switches for these lights, these exterior interior are right here. Every one of them is individual. So I can turn on right hand side, left hand side, rear, stall, individually. So it's not just, I have to turn everything on. You've got the ability to isolate if you want. So over here on driver's side, again, you're gonna have a, another LED load light on this side, 16 inch to match the other side. And then we have this escape door at the front. So like I was showing you at that first cut gate, if you were just using that for additional storage, you could still get to those items. If you have to open it and you have a horse parked here in this first stall, it has a chest bar that goes across. But you've got a paddle latch, you can, you can throw padlocks on these gates and then you'll be able to lock the front tack door itself. But it's got plexiglass as well. So again, that's why it's important to, you know, you utilize that that little tip I gave you with the tape and the, and the actual Sharpie, because again, there's a lot of pieces. Long wall, short wall on the other side, gate, rear gate as well. As you can see, there's some different sizes there. But again, it just helps organize everything. But again, really cool setup. These, these stock combos, you can haul horses, you can haul livestock, you can haul toys as well. So we can add rear ramps to these trailers. We can do a lot of add-ons after the fact. So just because it doesn't have that hydraulic jack or that rear ramp, you know, doesn't mean we can't make it exactly how you want it. But this trailer is available today. Again, 24 footer. We've got a, another one just like it in charcoal metallic. We've got some 20 footers if you want a little bit smaller. But stock number on this one is 5N221155. It is a 2023 Cimarron Lone Star 24 foot stock combo. We do take trade-ins. If you're looking to trade up, trade down. Either way, we can work with you there financing available we also offer delivery so we can potentially get it to your doorstep we can figure out what the rates would be on that uh, time is money so if it helps you out there we can we'll, we'll be glad to look into that option for you as well so give us a call anybody on our sales team can help you out that number is 303-684-3400 we appreciate you tuning in and have a good day